Hi, if you're looking for sampling techniques for your research, then this video is for you. So let's get started. The very first thing to do to start with your sampling is to know your target population. The second is to compute for sample n using Yamanis formula. This is the formula commonly known as Slovin's formula. n is equal to the quotient of capital N and the sum of 1 and the product of capital N and E squared. Where capital N is the target population, E is the margin of error, and N is the sample size. After computing your sample size, you now choose what sampling technique to use. In this video, I'll be talking about stratified random sampling. So let's check out the example. A study was conducted to determine the effect of global warming on the role of senior high school students. A total of 4,000 students in La Trinidad were identified. Compute for the sample size if the margin of error is 5%. Prepare a stratified random sampling sample size for each strata. So our target population would be the senior high school students in La Trinidad and were identified as a total of 4,000 students. We now compute for the sample size using 5% margin of error. So using Yamani's formula, this would be the result. Substituting the target population, which is 4,000, and the margin of error, which is 5%, equivalent to the decimal value 0 0.05. This equation would now yield a result of 363.64. Rounding this value to a whole number would be 364. So out of 4,000 students, our sample size would now be a total of 364. This would now be our table. So from the target population of 4,000, we are now showing the specific population for each strata. So that for the first strata, we have a total of 1,000. The second strata would be 800. The third strata would be 400. The fourth strata would be 300 and the fifth strata would be 1,500. In total, this should be 4,000. The computed sample size is 364. And applying the stratified random sampling, there are two methods we could use. The first method is what we call the equal specific sample size, where the formula would be simply n over k. So that computing for our equal specific sample size this would be equal to small n is 364 divided by the k value is 5. So this is equal to 72.8. Rounding this off to a whole number, it should be 73. So this formula should be applicable to all of the strata. So I can simply drag the formula down. So for method A, for each strata, we shall be taking 73 regardless of the number of the specific population. The total of these specific sample size should be equal to the computed sample size which is 364. So this is method A, the equal specific sample size for each strata. For method B, we call this the proportional specific sample size. The formula is equal to small n multiplied to the specific population divided by the target population. So computing for the specific sample size for the first strata, this would be equal to 364 multiplied to our specific population. This is 1000 divided by the total or the target population 4000 and this would be equal to 91. So for the first strata out of 1,000 specific population, we shall only be taking 91 sample size. We apply the same formula for the rest of the strata. So this is equal to 364 multiplied to the specific population is 800 for the second strata divided by 4,000. That is 73. For the third strata, this is equal to 364 multiplied to 400 divided by 4,000, this would be equal to 36. Since I'm working on with Microsoft Excel and I have laid down the formula, I can simply drag it down. There you go. 
For the fourth strata, we shall be taking 27 specific sample size out of 300. And for the fifth strata, we shall be taking 137 specific sample size out of 1,500. Taking the sum of all these specific strata, it should be equal to the computed sample size, which is still 364. So for stratified random sampling, you can either choose method A, equal specific sample size, or method B, proportional specific sample size. So there you have it, stratified random sampling. This is Teacher Glenn. Thank you for watching.